Welcome, everybody. Welcome to a brand new J and J Toy Giants YouTube channel toy unboxing. I am your host JD, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Smash Blade He-Man from the Masters of the Universe line that came out in 2022 after He-Man was being relaunched to a new generation. Uh, some of us uh, Motu fans, like myself, who were a fan of the Motu uh, cartoon and figures from the 80s, and in the late 80s, uh, kind of left a sour taste in our mouth because there was, and I'll leave a picture right here so you can know what I'm talking about, this version of the, uh, the adventures, I think it was called the New Adventures of He-Man, that was kind of set in space, even though I never really, you know, had a problem with it. But a lot of people were just kind of like soured by the taste, like Mattel uh, was just trying to, you know, just stuff some nonsense in front of us and thought that we wouldn't notice that it was a completely different He-Man. But I digress. I actually got this particular fig figure from a uh, toy hunt that I did at Vortex Video Games here in Latham, New York. If you guys are in the Capital District, go ahead over to Latham, New York to Vortex Video Games. You want to get some uh, vintage video games, some current video games, and also some awesome figures and Funko Pops and comics. Yes, they do have comics. And you guys can check out to see what they have here. I believe they do allow you to uh, trade in some figures as well. Don't quote me. Check them out on Instagram to find out what their uh, what their you know pre qualifications into trading in some figures and whatnot, but. We're gonna get right down to it. Unboxing Smash Blade He-Man. So what we're gonna do like we always do, we're gonna let them breathe. All right, people, we're gonna get right into it. I was able to uh, unbox this figure and uh, was kind of a little weirded out a little bit just by the body type of the figure in and of itself. It looks like he got a little bit of a hunchback. Like, I'm not sure what the idea was behind the mold and how this body was. I guess maybe all the He-Mans are like that. Comment in the comment section below if you've collected these for quite some time and kind of, you know, make me understand as to what the uh, whole <clears throat> idea was of behind this particular style of figure. Can we all talk about this sword real quick? Um, I wasn't a really big fan of the actual like cartoon when it came out because, like I said, it was 2002, so I was already in my college years even though I didn't go to college in 2022, but um, I was already an adult. There we go. I should say that. I was already an adult, and this sword, man, was a... It's just a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, but I did watch a few of the episodes. I, this was because I, I... You know, how could I not? And uh, But yeah, so this is the Smash Blade He-Man, and it actually has kind of like a... Like a swinging figures so on the midsection of the torso or over here by the uh, midsection here has like a little you know action so you can just pull it back so you can smash some dudes and then it comes with this little thingamajig you don't even know what it's called but it basically latches on to he-man so you can kind of spin it um there is a uh, old mattel version of the original he-man of uh, that smash blade and then there was wind was it wind chaser something wind with uh with the original masters of the universe guy um comment in the comment section if you guys know what i'm talking about but the the articulation is limited here you can see this is pretty much what you're going to be able to do on the legs there's no articulation at the knees nothing at, at the uh at the ankles so and nothing no articulation on the arms either so <clears throat> you can move the head just you know left right not not up and down you can move the arms up and down and yeah so also there is a chip a chip embedded into the foot here on this side of the package it does basically tell you that if you buy or if you have bought uh, or purchased rather I'm trying to use good grammar here the 
Castle Grayskull that was released during this time frame, if you put this figure on here, it will then, um, you know, have some pre-recorded, you know, messages that will, you know, it, it enhance the play experience, essentially what it does. And I believe they did that with the, uh, the Titan Tron um, stage with the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. They'll even have it on their, uh, their intro, like, now entering the Titan Tron, because a lot of the Titan Trons had the same technology where there was like a little chip there put on the stage and it starts playing their music so i would imagine this is kind of the same thing that they were doing with the masters of the universe for this he-man um not my favorite not my uh least favorite uh, it's kind of like in the middle um this was during the point where i wasn't collecting i wasn't really paying attention to uh masters of the universe so i can't really give a lot of you know hate to this uh, because it's just it wasn't part of uh who I was at that time. I wasn't really collecting at all. One of the things I will say is that this uh, does come with this, this little insert here. So like if you wanted to have this labeled, like nobody's going to know who this is, um, you know, when you display it, I'm not sure exactly what the purpose of this was, or maybe it was just basically the way to make the, uh, the logo pop inside of the card, but uh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to, you know, have it around just maybe i find something some use for it and if i can i'll probably toss it but uh, i just wanted to make a point to talk about that that if this came um out of the insert of the card when you open the figure up but i'm actually interested to see exactly how this chip will work so i may have to look for this uh castle grace call just to see what it is and see if i'll pop for it but uh the it is old so the the it, the the weapon is kind of warped kind of like uh if i'm not sure when this is coming out so if the uh teenage mutant ninja turtle bootleg figures that i got off of timu comes out before this then you'll kind of understand what i'm talking about how this was kind of warped in packaging maybe it just was uh, in the hot sun and it kind of warped inside of the packaging um but who knows but um i like it i mean it does give uh, a he-man a different look because he's wearing all blue in this. And it's almost kind of uh, reminiscent of the battle armor, the battle armor uh, He-Man that is a part of a lot of the lines. I'm a big He-Man and Master of the Universe fan. If you guys haven't noticed from the past four years that I, we've been doing this channel. But yeah, this, I'm, that's my only takeaway real quick is that there's not a lot of articulation in this figure which was really weird. Um, but also the, the way that they have his head, like it's like almost kind of hunchback a little bit. You know what I mean? I will give props to the details on the actual sword itself. Uh, the sword was one thing that I, it kind of took me a little bit to get used to when I started watching the, the cartoon um, later on in life because of the fact that it wasn't you know how like when you case in point like you watch a, a cartoon from your childhood and then they kind of revamp it for a newer generation you kind of have a, a little take back and say wait a minute that's not my not my version this is not my he-man this is not the one that i grew up with you know what i mean so it just takes some getting used to when you find a newer version of something that you like comes out because it's just not, it doesn't represent the thing that you liked. Which is understandable. A lot of uh, toy lines have, uh, uh, you know, been around since the 80s, even the 70s, you know, for things that people are collecting now. And you just have to be uh, a, a uh, avid follower of the, the toy line to be able to appreciate, you know, all the different types. Now, one thing I will tell you, and I'll just put a, a picture in here because I actually... Uh, got some of the uh, figures from like a little toy store in Clifton Park near where I live. That yeah, I got them on a. It's gonna be on a new Who's Lucy coming up. D that this He Man, ah uh ah -uh. uh -uh. like Stone Cold says, ah uh ah. -uh. I am not with that. Um, but you know, I'll watch it. I'll give it a chance. I, uh, I am a uh, completionist as far as like I need one He Man, one Skeletor of every toy line. That's just part of what I decided to do with my collection. But it does come with his, his uh, normal shield and it does serve its purpose with the actual motion that it does. 
And that's one of the other things too with the articulation. It's really kind of hard to stand. It doesn't necessarily need a stand if you don't need it, but there is a peck hole there. Uh, it does have a C grip hand so that you can put in the sword. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, this is kind of like a real basic figure when you think about it. Um, I'm glad that I have it. I'm not complaining, but not as uh, exciting that I thought it would be once I took it out of the packaging. I really didn't take a look at the articulation when it was in the box. I just kind of like, oh, that's a human. I'll, I'll take it. But yeah, so thank you so very much, guys, for being with us. For this edition of the J&J Toy Giants Toy Unboxing, again, I am your host, JD. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and also follow us on TikTok, and follow us on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys, for being with us for another one. Thank you so very much, and as always, keep on cruising. See you later.